Hi, in this tutorial we will practice some um, object relational statements in your Oracle account. And then look for the link that says object relational issues of Oracle. You click on that and then you should get this web page. Now you should also have opened your Oracle account here. And this is this is what we will practice from here. So in this web page, they are highlighting some of these important aspects of uh, the object relational concepts or the object technology in Oracle. And we will start by looking into the statements that they have in this web page. Then, for example, here they highlight what we will be doing. And then here, for example, they talk about defining a type, they giving here the format. And then here is an example that we're creating a type. So what we will do is just select it, right click, copy. We go into your Oracle account. And then we go over this as edit. We paste it. We execute it. And then you're hoping to get a message that, that says type created. So now we got that type. So what we're creating here is a type, point type as object. So we, what, what I want you to do is that you implement the statements that are in that page, and then you provide me with some screenshots like, like the one when you're executing your account. So for example, now the next statement here, if you read this, this uh, instructions here, it says that now we want to create a line type, and line type, which is another object, will need a point type, and a point type that needs to be created before this. So I will do that. I will copy the statement, Go into my Oracle account, it pasted and it's created. So I created now these two types as objects. And then here we're gonna create a table that will use a line ID, which is type integer in a line that is a line type like this. So don't remember if I copy this, so I'm copying this paste it, I got the table, and then um, if we need to drop the types, we will we'll do this, and anything that we need to delete, we need to use drop, for example, if I need to drop this table, I will say drop table lines, drop type line, type, yes, type, and then a semicolon. Now, when uh, there is a reference to that object, it won't let you, then you need to add the word cascade. So here, let's see, here we want to insert some values. Yeah, so we got that in the table. So I want you to read what they have on here and then practice the statements that they have into your Oracle account. And I think after here, we're going to declare methods, which this is, uh, okay, because now look, the a type, line type, they're redefining that using methods. Now, if I copy this and paste it, and I did that without reading, which is wrong, it doesn't let me, and then the error message says, name is already used by an existing object. What it means is line type was already created here, remember? So what you need to do is to drop that And probably won't let me because I guess this object needs the point type. But this, let's just practice that. So here, if I paste it, it says cannot drop or replace a type with a type that the table depends. So I need to check if we want to define. So we got the line type, then here is the body, and then, um, so maybe it's a good idea to drop what we have after we practice. So for example, if you already practice and maybe, well, let's do some select star from lines. So we can see the table. I'm not sure if we're going to need table lines again. 
but I mean, what you need to do is read. I mean, what, what I want you to do is to copy paste it and execute it. Show me that you have there. Now here, for example, we're creating type using these functions. You either change the name and call that type line time tool if you want to keep that in your account. Or if we want to get rid of this, instead of saying create, well, let me drop this table lines. Maybe we don't need that anymore. And then we say drop, paste it, semicolon, and then we drop the table. I don't know if we need this, so here I'm dropping this. So I can practice, so I say drop, delete, paste, semicolon, so that was drop it. And then this type, we don't need it anymore. Remember, I want you to read what the tutorial is saying. So here I'm just highlighting what, I, what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be executing this, following the sequence, get the screenshot so you get an idea. Then if you are redefining the type, like in this case, they're gonna, this type doesn't have any methods. So here is a good illustration that it's a simple point line with X and Y with nothing. And then we created this table. But then in the following example, they are creating a type line again. What is the difference that now they had this point type? So they're going to need line type, line type, point type. So I guess we need point type. So I think this is okay. So I think so what I deleted is this table and then I deleted this line type. Now we can, I think I can create this. Type created. So I didn't delete the other one because look, it needs point type. So now type is created, so I can continue with example. So then, I want you to keep doing the same and then practice this because here this is the definition of the method and now here is the implementation how that is going to be implemented and then follow the examples until the end of the page this is also another nice figure in which they talk about nested tables and the illustration here is a and b and look at the a is a simple attribute and b the attributes for b is another table so this is another nice example Okay, um, just continue until the end of the page, just practicing these statements, and then in the next tutorial, the next lecture, we will further practice the object relational database systems.